good afternoon from the tiredest lady in all the land. So we realized that we left the camera at Christina's and then I also just didn't have it in me to edit the past two days. I have been like, well, I did have a headache, but I have just been, I mean, I'm just blaming it on first trimester. I don't know, but we are vlogging today, no matter what we do. Um, <laughs> James. And we're going out. Has more zest for life ah. than anyone I know. He likes when I yell back at him. And we're gonna have some waffles and ramen for lunch. Where's she going? Where's she going? Where's she going? Taking even a walk. Sarah and James took a nap and they're still asleep and I'm done working for the day. But I'm just letting them rest. It feels like fall for the first time. It's like roughly out. Does this happen to anybody else's dog? They just stop walking. Got <laughs> a package, gonna save my life. So, this is an X5 pod that will work with my Xfinity router and hopefully make my life easier when it comes to walking around my apartment with work. I told you before I do data analytics, I have all these processes that take like upwards to 90 minutes. Ooh, this is like Apple level packaging. Upwards of 90 minutes to run and if I lose my internet connection, it has to restart. And that, that has a business and operational effect on the rest of my department. This thing is fancy. Oh, sorry, even needs water. So the theory is, this is a Wi-Fi extender. I'm gonna go plug this in. Our apartment's like very long. It's not super wide, but it's long. And so I actually lose a lot of internet connection or like even just like sporadic, but even that moment of disconnect will cause my processes have to have to restart. So this is gonna go halfway through the apartment, hopefully extending our Wi-Fi, boosting it to the absolute back end so I can work truly anywhere from the apartment. Does this child not look seven years old? <laughs> he's got his new, his, well not new, but he's got his yeah, Jordans on Jordans. for the first time from Steve and the family. <laughs> he's also not sure we stood him up and he started flailing his he legs. He like, has not worn these kinds. He's like, a Florida boy born and raised. <laughs> he doesn't wear shoes like this. We need to get you some. We gotta go downtown. Are we going downtown still? Uh, Maybe we'll. Um, I want to go pastrami. Yeah. And then we'll downtown. Yeah. Okay. Look who woke up from their naps. Hey. <laughs> I don't know. I. You need a nap. I. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying. Rallied. This is my new jacket that I got. I don't know if we'll show that vlog because. We, we didn't do the vlog, so we. Well, we no, I, I kind of did in the, in the intro. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we'll figure it out. Maybe I'll put a clip in here or there. Oh, it was a fun day. We went to a taco fest. Yes, it was a we really went to a good day. street taco fest. It was a really good day. Um, but it feels good to be out and about. It is the this is the closest to fall we've experienced in five yeah. years, and it's only gonna get more folly. Yes. So we're gonna grab some dinner. Go downtown. downtown. Look, this building has one of those tunnel shoot systems, like in Home Alone. Two. What? Not the 2002, but the lighter work. Yeah. Oh, are you looking to buy, Peter? I was looking at, at what they were offering. Ooh. <laughs> So we are at the bagel for dinner tonight. And actually we've been here before when we weren't vlogging. And this is where James had his very first pickle. Yeah, yeah. Ever. 
And it's really nice they bring out bread and pickles before you eat. Holy, holy moly. <laughs> We're either plant-based <laughs> or nothing. Or like opposite. <laughs> Look at that. And mine's got the adieu. Let me show mine again. What? Mine's called the, what is it, Lawrence and Kedzie. Mm -hmm. Lawrence and Kedzie, and it's pastrami and corned beef. Yum. He's pumped. <laughs> Oh, we are full. <laughs> we forgot like home, mom, pa owned old city delis like that feed you good. Mm -hmm. Feed you so good. So it was delicious. Yes, very good. Um, we ran into our friend Kara right before <laughs> we got in there, and she's like a Florida friend. We, well, we met, she's like, we met her through YouTube uh -huh. and then through Disney uh -huh. college program, but she's, she's always been a fellow Illinoisan. Mm -hmm. Um, so that was so cool. We just we were like literally in the crosswalk, like we were like anyway, like we have to get out of the crosswalk. She was actually, in a vlog from Fab Five, <laughs> the Fab Five Two Hundred Seven. Yeah. So that, yeah, that's really fun, and she lives close to us, so I need to see her again. Yes, but we're gonna backtrack to the train. We're gonna take the subway down to the loop and check out some art. I think right. Yeah, projective it's like a art. Projection show and it's basically the like Cinderella cast. Basically. Have you ever been in the merchandise mart before? No, we haven't been. The only time I've been to the merchandise mart was when I exchanged the. Actually, I think I did digital money fund transfer. Was to pick up our Hamilton tickets that I surprised Peter with all those years ago. I brought a friend. We came. It was a very nice woman. She's still on my PayPal list of people to pay. Oh, it feels good to be here. <laughs> it feels crisp in the air. I don't think she's in Christmas time. <laughs> Last time we, like, the last, I don't know how many years we've only really come down in the holidays. Right, for a very specific amount of time, like very, with almost no time out in the downtown. So, right. Getting to like my kneecaps are a little chilly right now. <laughs> so. But Peter thrives in sweatshirts and shorts. This is his favorite temp. I could go like five uh, degrees warmer. I would want like five degrees colder. Yeah. Yeah. He's really cute, da, da, da. He's really funny looking, uh huh. He likes his mama's dance moves, uh huh. Do, 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 do. We got 30 minutes before the show. What should we do? Find out a coffee. It's 62 degrees up in here. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> going to go in this food hall. Look at this building, just like casual gorgeousness. Okay, then I guess I gotta go over there. <laughs> Look at this fanciness. Welcome to Kitchen United Mix. Follow the arrows to place an order and pick up your food. Socially distance, order here. Maybe not. Maybe not. Wait. I'm gonna get me some Pete's coffee because that's what I'm jonesing for. I'm in a limited time offers. And this horchata cold brew oat latte sounds very, very, very silly. I think I'm gonna get it. So here you go. I'm presuming then that they can just like swap out the different kitchens that are here at different times. Super cool. It smells so good. It smells like a holiday. It smells like Smarties. Well, yeah, well, two. What do you rate it? Solid. Six. Six? That's not solid. Yeah, it is. It's better. It's, it's upper half. It's better than most. This is a solid 10 water. Uh, Pete's, I think, is regional, like to the Midwest slash Chicagoland area. P E E T S. 
I actually, I'm actually the founder. <laughs> I just didn't want everybody to know, so I called it Pete's instead of Peter's. Um, hey. Cold brew, horchata, oat, latte. So we crossed the street to start heading back and we were like wanting to cross to take a ramp down by the river rock and I just like spot this little sign here, this little plaque, and read this. Pause it and read it. For many years the Christmas tree ship loaded with trees docked at the southwest corner of Clark Street Bridge from the ship Captain Herman Schooneman, known as Captain Santa, and his wife Barbara and daughters Elsie, Hazel, and Pearl sold trees to the public and gave them away to those in need? What? Oh, it went down to the... Oh, don't read the next... Don't read the side of that second paragraph. Okay, it doesn't look as trippy on the camera, but this ramp messes with your mind. Because it's like goes into the seats. Yeah, it's like and stairs. It, and then at 180s. Yeah. So underneath the bridges... Wow! There's these cool, like... Metallic -y. I don't even know what you would call this. Arch? Yeah. And we have some cool wedding photos further, mm -hmm. further south. Yeah, I'll put some in. They're pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Gonna get our spot for the show. Who does the bad news? What? There's a ramp right under that bridge. Yeah. Look how beautiful that looks. What's the bad news? Um, this is the show. So this is Barbara Kruger until November 25th. This is called Untitled Questions. Oh! Seven, it's at 7 30 to 8. It's past 8, so I'm not sure. But that's what it is. Hold on a moment. Yeah, Peter's right. I truly just saw somebody else post. It's seeing. Still super cool. It's really who's cool. Value, it's what we've seen like, whose values, whose tears, whose justice, whose hopes. Whose hopes. Who's laughter? A very cool, good statement piece. Right, I dig it. I just there was one during the summer that was like space themed, mm -hmm. and I, I'm That's sure just like one that was like flow, like plants. Yeah, so like different artists. I had just seen somebody. Maybe their post was from earlier this month. If it was before like a week and a half ago. It would have been. It would have been a different show. This just started. Now the question is. Train back or walk close to Michigan and hop on the bus. What did you do when you were 10 months old? You played with a metal Mickey Mouse shaped hook <laughs> in front of the merchandise market. That's a Chicago baby right there. I'm talking about you. <laughs> Whoa. You see the baby? You <laughs> love it. You got shy when the camera comes out. <laughs> Yo, I don't know quite where we're going at. I think we're just we're just chit chatting, enjoying the cooler evening, walking across. Yeah, we're eventually gonna hop on the bus that'll drop us off in our neighborhood, but. In weeks. In weeks. So we've just been soaking up our neighborhood. This feels good. This is my favorite building in all of Chicago. Right here. And that's mine over there. And together, they're best friends, just like us. Mm. Woohoo! Chicago Marathon. It's real soon. What, three weeks away? That's gonna be so fun because it's gonna be like run Disney-esque where I follow you along but I'm going to be on the train instead of the monorail. And at the end of it, it will just be a quick right. bus or train home. Yeah. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm not the one running, but I'm excited. Ooh. Ooh, we missed the I light. we had an intersection across, but we don't. You do it.
Whoa. <laughs> oh, lover boy. We're waiting for the bus now. It's about three minutes away. And just like that, we are in the Lakeview neighborhood. I'm Belmont. Enjoy your quick little evening in the city. I did. My heart needed it. <laughs> and your little new jacket, little fall feels going on. I think, uh, wait until the first day, it's like 50s. Oh, James is ready to go home. We just made it back to the apartment. He fell asleep like, like a little sweet angel. Look at that eye. He's asleep. That's how me and Sarah both sleep. <laughs> That little baby did not stay asleep. And that's, wakes him up. that's the one noise that has always woken him up. But anywho. Um, he had trouble transferring like three times. But he is like, I don't know. Getting back into the swings of like being in his crib, being in his own room, all that stuff, so. Alrighty, it is good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>